Boss didn't hire new employee because of their hobbies outside of work. The title really says it all. We interviewed a candidate today for a position and my boss says she's not a good fit for the company since she likes to game outside of work. My boss states that he wants a well-rounded person and doesn't want someone who plays games when they go home for the day. IDK seems kind of messed up to me. What someone does with their free time has no business being discussed or judged in the workplace. This is why my answer is always playing music and camping. Even though more of my free time is spent gaming. It's outdated nonsense and I guarantee you this guy just watches TV with most of his free time. But it is what it is. I swear interviews are just about who is the biggest liar. In my office she'd be hired just so we'd have another gamer to talk with. Lol I thought you were going to say something dangerous or something to make the business look bad. My hobbies include random acts of public nudity, destroying Legos while small children are creating, kicking my grandmother's walker while she's on her way to the bathroom, however, I have never gamed and it is evil. Hired. Imagine being rejected for gaming and they go ahead and hire a high-functioning alcoholic instead. I hate when employers ask what my hobbies are. They are none of your business and should not have anything to do with hiring someone. What they want to hear is the kiss-ass answer, my hobby is learning more about this job so I can. Work here 24.7. Gag. If he's gonna decline someone for something so lame, he's going to have a hard time getting staff. What's the bet if it was a man who plays video games he wouldn't think of that as an issue. Unfortunately this person does not see value in hiring people who add different perspectives to the company culture. The business will suffer as a result. Also, if he's this petty, do you think he's not hiring minorities as well? Honestly, when I was a hiring manager I loved hiring gamers. Gamers have great logical problem-solving skills, are goal-oriented, and typically work as part of a team very well. These are all skills that come from playing video games. I'm a gamer myself, so I get it. If it came up in an interview I would always ask what types of games they played. People that love puzzle, strategy, RPGs or competitive team-based games almost always made great hires. New employees cost money. Another case of pretending to try hiring. Next time will be distance between eyes. These are the same assholes that go home and spend 6 hours watching other people play sports while getting drunk. My husband's company once received a complaint about an employee when someone discovered that the employee was once a stripper. The cool thing was that HR reprimanded the complainer and reassured the harassed employee that what she did in the past and on non-work time did not affect her current position. Cool, no gamer should ever have to work for a total moron. Let me guess boomer? I got rejected after an interview because I don't play golf. Apparently, some of the supervisors play golf on the weekends. During the interview I mentioned that I bowl tournaments on the weekends and have no desire to play golf. I work in a big high-tech company. About a year ago we had a new employee introduce himself and for the first time I heard someone says their hobby was gaming. I was so happy because almost everyone plays games. But when we have to say what our hobbies are it's always helping orphans and translating cuneiform. I actually clapped, which got me stared at. Sounds like a misogynist boomer. Just come here from taking an interview. Apart from the googling of answers. They gave a hobby that was basically, I like to learn things for the job. That's not the answer I want to hear. 
I want to know what you actually do to make you interesting outside of work. I don't care what it is. Just that it's something other than more work. Of course it's none of their business and completely irrelevant. But. This is a game. The game is getting hired. 1. If possible. Stalk your interviewer on social media prior to the interview to learn their hobbies and select one. Of theirs. If at all possible. I love keeping an aquarium. Oh so do you? I'm somewhat new to the hobby and still learning. But I'd love to know your opinion on the best filtration systems. Quote. 2. Quickly scan the room for clues. Photo of your interviewer on their desk from a ski, snowboard trip? Photo of a sailboat? Hiking poles or golf clubs stashed in the corner? Local sports ball team hat hanging on a hook? Find some common ground and run with it. 3. If the company makes, buys, sells or markets anything even remotely hobby related. That's your hobby. 4. If all else fails, you enjoy solving puzzles. Completing crossword challenges. And answering trivia. I got denied a job because my hands were, too dirty. They weren't even dirty. I work in HVAC and my hands are pretty rough. Sorry man. This is what hard work looks like. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.